Hello everyone. Today I will teach you how to find if a given string is a rotation of the other string and vice versa. So let me explain what rotation means. So we have two strings over here A, B, C, D and we have C, D, B, A. If you look carefully, the second string is a rotation of first string. How? So we have A, B, C and D. So if we see it this way, you know, in this order, starting from here and then till here, or you can say C, D, A, B. So if you see, if you start from here, A, B and then C, D, like this. So this is basically a rotated version of this S1. So this is a rotation. So let me explain in a better way. So let's say I have this strip of paper. If I put the second string C, D, A and B and if I rotate this, let me just rotate this. So this is the rotator version. So you can see, you can find the first string A, B, C and D. So the second string S2 is the rotation of S1. So let me explain how we'll approach this. So basically what we'll do, we have S1 as A, B, C, D. What we are going to do is, let's just make this twice. So let's say, let's say S3 is twice of this. That is A, B, C, D and then A, B, C, D. Okay, we have just taken S1 two times. So this is one S1, this is one S1. And in this, if you try to search for S2, C, D, A, B. Let's start from here. Is it equal to C? No. Is it same as C? No. This is same as C. So now let's check for the next element. This is D and we have a match over here. Now we move on to the next element. This is A and we can see over here it's A. Again it's a match. We go to the next element. We have B and we have B over here. So the S2 is found in this string. So this basically means that uh, S2 is a rotation of S1. You can try with various other examples also. Let's say we have a variable S as uh, let's say B, C, D, A. So we'll do the same thing. We'll take S1 plus S1. This is same as this. This is S1 plus S1. So this is A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And now let's check if this is present over here. If it is present, it means this is a rotation of S1. So let's see. B, C, D, A. Okay, we found B, C, D, A. So this is a rotation of the string S1. Okay, this is a very simple logic. Now let's write the program. So before writing a program, let me give you one more test case. That is, if S1 and S2 are not of same length. If they are not of same length, they can never be a rotation of each other. Let me show you one example. Let's say a string has A, C, D. If we rotate this, can we get A, B, C, D? We cannot, right? Because this does not have A in it. So therefore, this cannot be a rotation of S1. So let's say we have another which is of uh, greater length than S1. Say we have B, C, D, A, B, something like that. So this string has two B, but our initial string has only one B. So any two strings whose length are not same can never be 
a rotation of each other so that is what we'll do first first we'll check if both their length are equal if they are equal we will proceed to case number two case number two is nothing but the logic which i have is discussed if it is not equal then we will just print that it is not a rotation and we will terminate the program now let's move to the programming part so i have two strings now i'll do this part so i'll check if s1 dot length is not equal to s2 dot length i just explained that if they are not equal it means they cannot be a rotation of each other so i need to print that it is not a rotation and since it's not a rotation we can simply terminate the program over here okay so that it won't execute the remaining part of the program and waste your execution time so let's just exit the program we'll use system dot exit and this is zero okay so this part is done now now let's move on to the second part what is the second part we will take uh, we'll take string one twice and then we'll store it in a new string variable and then we'll check if s2 is present in the new string let's do that we'll create a string s3 equal to s1 plus s1 so s3 will now have a b c d one s1 and then one more s1 okay now s3 will have this now we have to check this whether s2 is present inside this new string of ours so we'll be using something called index capital o of okay so here we'll have string one or something one string and here we'll have some other string say let's say let's say string two what it will return is if this s1 contains s2 in some of the index location then it will return the index let's say s1 is a b c d e f and let's say s2 is b c d what will be the output of this where is b c d present b c d is present over here what is the index location of this this is a is index number 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 and 5 so where is bcd present where is this s2 present in s1 it is present in index number one so this will give us the index of where this string is present in this string okay if this string let's say we are searching for a string called s3 which is something z e f something so if this string is not present over here in s1 if you want to search for s3 in s1 the result will be minus 1 because this zef is not present in s1 so it will give us a minus 1 if it is not found and if it is found it will give us the index so we are going to do use this index of over here so according to my logic we have to check if this s3 has s2 if it is having it then it will give us some index value if it is not having it will return minus one okay so i'll do if s3 this string dot index of s2 we are interested in searching s2 in s3 so s2 is not equal to minus 1 if it is not equal to minus 1 it means s2 is present in s3 so if it is present what does that mean 
it means it is a rotation so let me just print it and in the else part it will mean that it is not present so let's just close everything if you learned something from my video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you